Hello, this is Game Freak JLS, and I'm here to show you guys a Z-Barb build video. So we're going to go to my Z-Barb. Okay, this is not my Z-Barb. Here he is. We're going to go to him, and we're going to get into the game. Yes, I play female characters. Okay. So. As the gear's loading up, there we go. This is my z -bar. And I'm going to go over all the gear, the gems, and the skills that I have and show you some play on it. Alright. So here is my z -bar. We're going to take four-piece Raycor. Okay. And if you look at the Raycore set, it Furious Charge refunds a charge if it only hits one enemy. Okay, that's not really why we care about this set, but that's nice. Um, it's because of the four piece. The four piece gives you every rune. So if we go to our runes in Furious Charge right here, all right, so we gain every rune. Merciless Assault, okay? This is really the only skill that we need. But this uh, recharge time is reduced by 2 seconds for every enemy hit. This effect can reduce the recharge time by 10 seconds. So every time you're going through enemies, you will be able to have your charge up the whole time. That is why I do not have uh, illusionary boots to go through enemies. Um, you don't really need it. And it also frees up this chess piece, Akila Kiros, which reduces your damage by 50%. So you'll always have this up every time that you charge. We also are going to go with Leoric's Crown. And this uh, helmet, the reason why we pick is for the cooldown reduction. In all your gear, you want cooldown reduction. So. The pieces that you can get it in is shoulders, hands, your weapons, and rings, and your amulet. So as you, as you look, I have cooldown, I have cooldown, I have cooldown, 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 and cooldown. So in details, my cooldown reduction is at 61%. Um, you probably, you want it around that. Um, Maybe you could pass for like around 55, uh, depending on your gear. I think 55 would be okay, but I'm not quite sure. So, so far we've gone through the four pieces for your charge, and then your chest piece and helmet. Then you have your amulet, which doesn't really matter which amulet you have. Uh, you could probably go with the L fire too if you want even more skills or one of the uh, passive or not passives but like reduce or invulnerability to arcane and vulnerability to uh, fire you know those it doesn't really matter as long as you have cooldown on it uh, I picked this just because that has a lot of defense skills on it uh, with our belt, we're going to go with the legendary, or the uh, Chalonix chain belt. Increase the movement speed. The reason why I picked this belt is because I have Pride of Cassius in my queue, which redu reduces the cooldown on Ignore Pain, which I will go over that skill soon. But basically this increases the duration, so it makes Ignore Pain last longer. Uh, in our ring slots, we have Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. So this is going to reduce the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second whenever you spend a resource. Our spending ability is going to be our Rage Flip, or our Pull, or Grab. So you're going to be pulling monsters and grabbing them, and bringing them to the group. Okay, so this is for four player, three player, um... And even two player, you're bringing the group to, you know, your mo your uh, party. And re because you're doing that, it costs Fury, so then it's reducing a second off 
one of your uh, abilities. And then in the ring slot, I have the Oculus ring. Uh, I have 85% damage increase whenever the circles pop up. If you have that, or if you don't have an 85%, I would recommend putting it in your cube and then trying to find a band of might just to have that over here. But because I have 85%, I can put it in my cube. I also have attack speed. So attack speed is your second main ability that you need, or stat priority that you need for the Z barb. So I have it on my hands, my weapon, my rings, and you could get on your amulet. Basically the same stuff for cooldown reduction, but I do not have it on my amulet. And the reason why you want attack speed is because it's going to increase your movement speed, or basically the speed at which you can charge. So because I have a lot of attack speed, I charge really, really quick. Okay, so that's your second priority stat. Uh, for skills, I went with Jarring Slam, so every time you slam, you have a chance to drop health globes. The reason why we want health globes is because of Pound of Flesh. As one of our passive skills, it increases your health regen. So you are healed 2% of your life per second, uh, and your movement speeds increase. I forgot to throw that in. For 15 seconds, this bonus stacks 5 times, so you can have up to... 10% life health regen, and your movement speed would be 5, 10, 15, 20% quicker. So you're moving quicker, which your goal is to find everything as a Z-Barb. You're finding the pylons, you're finding the next uh, elites. That is your goal. You are directing your team, basically, and kind of finding around the map so then you know where your party can go. Um, so that explains that uh, we have Ancient Spear Rage Flip so this is what brings monsters whatever you're grabbing this is what it looks like brings it to you um, we have Furious Charge doesn't matter which rune I could pick Stamina I could pick Gold Rush doesn't matter because I'm going to get every rune okay then we have Warcry Impunity this can be switched. You can switch it to Veteran's Warning if you want to. Increase dodge chance for your party. Increase health regen for your party and a little bit more life. Or more armor for 5 seconds. But majority of people use these two uh, abilities. Uh, ignore Pain. We're going to pick Mob Rule. And the reason we're picking this is so that our whole party gets 25% damage reduction and immunity to control impairing effects for 5 seconds. But because we have our belt in our cube, instead of 5 seconds, it's 11 seconds. And because of all our cooldown reduction, you're able to keep this up 100% of the time as long as you're pulling monsters the whole entire time. Um, you're basically going to be running with your party to an elite group, you're going to be attacking an elite, and then as a Z-Barb, you're going to be dragging elites to the party. Of course, it came out with Juggernaut. It can't You can't, you know, drag that mob type. But you can let your party know in chat. Uh, I'm assuming you're using Discord or, or Battle.net chat uh, to talk to your party. Um, you're letting them know what, what monsters and what's ahead, basically. So that's that. Um, other passives I have, I have this because I play hardcore, so Nerves of Steel. Can't die, I'm immune. You know, I get one free life. We have Sword and Board because I'm using a shield. And that reduces my damage by 30% and Fury cost by 20% so then I can cast Ancient Spear more often. Then I have Inspiring Presence so the whole party gets 3% of their max life per second. This I would say you could change. It's not mandatory. Um, it is a little bit helpful. helps mitigate some damage. But it's not like mandatory. Your, your Z Monk should be healing 
the majority of it. So you could switch this out to be more tanky or I don't know. Maybe just have this if you're playing hardcore so then you can spend even more fury if you're below. Um, so yeah, that's that. So your skills, gear, uh, stats, attack speed, I have 28%. Uh, and then cooldown, 61%. I'm sitting at 123 mil buffed. And then if I have ignore pain on, 246. And then if I charge, 600k. Okay isn't bad at all oh gems okay so you're gonna pick gem of a efficacious toxin i believe that's how you say it uh all enemies your poison take 10 percent increased damage and they deal 10 percent less damage for your party so that'll be beneficial for your party this can be switched out you don't have to use esoteric alteration uh, you could switch that with uh, this lightning room, so then uh, you can move quicker, so you can find things quicker. Um, I would say these two gems are mandatory. Gogaka of the Swiftness. This is going to reduce your cooldown by 15% more uh, when you have all 15 stacks, and you gain more attack speed and dodge. Um, you're going to have blue gems. In your gear, so I'll resist gems, I'll resist or cooldown reduction in your helmet, and then you're just gonna kind of roll um, life and resistance and vitality if you already have attack speed and cooldown on all your gear, and then um, some other benefits like on these gloves, I have increased gold and health pickup rate. You're gonna want that also. Uh, it's not mandatory, but it helps the party so you can pick up globes. Uh, that's another reason why uh, I picked Ground Stomp for Wizards and uh, Witch Doctors that can also benefit them. So when you're popping globes, you can, you know, help increase their damage. Um, other than that, the weapon doesn't really matter. Uh, I went with Pig Sticker just because it has a bunch of stats on it. A lot of people use this, so you... You know, if say I already had increased attack speed and cooldown, then I could roll off the damage roll, which it would take a lot of times, but you could eventually get like attack speed, resource cost reduction. So then it would be like a 200 weapon, you know, but damage doesn't matter because you're a ZDPS. Um, you could also put a cube. Yeah, or, 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 I don't even, I'm not even going to try to say I'm too tired right now, but. You could also put one of these gifts on here and put a life on hit gem in there. But it's not required. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys a, a G Rift. Um, we'll just do a 70 just to kind of show you guys kind of like playthroughs. So basically, you'll join a map and instantly you'll buff. You'll hit this, ignore pain, and you'll start to charge till you have all your fury. Okay, then you're going to shout, you're going to stomp, and normally you're going to do this whenever you have an elite. Okay, so basically your whole group is going to skip all mobs. This is just for like group play, and you're going to look for the elite. So we found the elite, right? I'm going to pop ignore pain, I'm going to stun them, drop that, pick up some health globes. Do threatening shout, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the next elite. The Z Monk's gonna be on these, and your party's gonna be killing this, but you're gonna look for the next elite. So we'll pretend we'll go back down here. There is an elite down here, even though there isn't, and we're gonna start bringing them, bringing them to this elite. And stopping, ignore pain. And you're always gonna run back to your party for ignore pain. So pretend I have ignore pain up right now, and I'm bringing things in. Up, I'm, it's running out, bam, ignore pain, run away, bring more in, okay, which is going to reduce the damage, or cooldown, bam, ignore pain, shout, pick up everything. So that's basically how you play Z-Barb, 
you are the scout, you are finding the pylons. I guess I didn't go through that piece of gear, but that's why we have Nemesis Bracers on. Um, your weapon, I'm using Ingeome, doesn't really matter, you can use anything. You can use Selenium to drop more health globes. Uh, Wallman, 30% chance, put a shield on. That's probably your most lenient uh, skill, but these two you're probably going to want. Um, other than that, I hope that was a good video explanation for uh, Z-Barb. Um, if you guys have any other questions, leave a comment below. Uh, you can like, subscribe if you want to see more uh, Diablo videos. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Anyways. Thank you for watching this Game Freak JLS. I will see you guys later.